Recent years have been tough for the Saab brand. Jettisoned from General Motors' lineup during the midst of GM's bankruptcy, there was fears Saab might disappear altogether. Thankfully, Dutch exotic car maker Spyker stepped in to keep the Swedish brand alive. The first vehicle released under Saab's new ownership is the all-new 9.5 sedan. Hello, and welcome to our comprehensive Kelly Blue Book review of the Saab 9.5. Despite a switch in ownership, the latest 9.5 is very much a product of Saab's GM era. The 9.5 is built on GM's Epsilon 2 platform and is powered by GM's sourced engines. Still, the 9.5 sedan retains a distinctly Swedish feel, with unique touches throughout and a design that is unmistakably Saab. You'll like the Saab 9.5 if you want a competent handling and comfortable sedan. You might also like the 9.5 if you appreciate the esoteric joy of driving a car few other motorists will recognize. The Saab 9.5 is not a mainstream luxury car choice. While Saab fans revel in that fact, other car buyers might prefer the familiarity of better known brands like Volvo, Audi, or BMW. In motion, the Saab 9.5 strikes a good balance between comfort and performance. The suspension soaks up road imperfections, making for a smooth ride, nicely enhanced by minimal road and wind noise at speed. Over curvy stretches of pavement, the 9.5 is also a capable handling vehicle with good lateral grip, although steering effort might be a little light for some tastes. We also found that the 9.5's thick side pillars impeded visibility during lane changes. The Saab 9.5 comes in front-wheel drive four-cylinder and all-wheel drive six-cylinder flavors. The four-cylinder 9.5 with manual transmission is ultimately our choice's most fun, but for sheer speed, passing power, and all-weather capability, the all-wheel drive V6 model is a better choice. One of our favorite features is the optional heads-up display, which shows vehicle speed, engine RPM, and other data on a virtual display at the driver's eye level. Any technology that lets drivers spend more time focused on the road ahead is a winner in our book. We also like the optional rear seat entertainment system, a feature that's common in SUVs, but less so in passenger cars. The 9.5's dual 8-inch rear screens with DVD playback and wireless headphones are a welcome feature for those lucky enough to ride in back. From a design perspective, the latest 9.5 pays homage to sobs of the past while also moving the brand's familiar design language into the future. Fans of the 1980s Saab 900 may notice a resemblance between its C-pillar and that of the 9.5. Move forward and blacked out A and B pillars help create the illusion of an unbroken expanse of glass surrounding the vehicle, similar to the Saab Aero X concept shown several years ago. From its pointed nose to its tapered tail and all the smooth body panels in between, the Saab 9.5 looks like nothing else on the road. Beyond a design statement, the 9.5 shape also yields benefits in economy thanks to its extremely aerodynamic 0.28 drag coefficient. The Saab 9.5's sizable exterior dimensions translate directly into a roomy interior. All occupants enjoy good headroom, but what we're most impressed with is rear seat legroom. The trunk area is similarly large with a long, squared off, and easy to load layout. Design-wise, the interior features a restrained motif befitting the 9.5's Scandinavian origins. Along with the use of premium materials, the cabin also features some unique Saab touches like green gauge illumination, a center-mounted engine start button, and a digital altimeter-inspired speedometer that recalls Saab's aviation origins. Standard features found on the Saab 9.5 include a leather-trimmed interior, power seats with driver's side memory, Bluetooth, dual zone automatic climate control, and a nine speaker audio system with USB and auxiliary inputs. In terms of safety equipment, stability control, traction control, six airbags, active head restraints, and GM's OnStar system are standard on all Saab 9.5s. Notable options for the 9.5 include bi-xenon headlamps, auto dimming mirrors, a panoramic sunroof, ventilated front seats, and an 11-speaker Harman Kardon audio system. Grouped together in the technology package are parking sensors, a heads-up display, and a lane departure warning system. Standard on the 9.5 Aero is DriveSense, a system that allows the driver to change the throttle response, steering feel, shock stiffness, and front-to-rear torque distribution on the fly, quickly switching from comfort to sport settings. 
Saab has been turbocharging engines for more than three decades, so the 9.5's all-turbocharged engine lineup comes as no surprise. The base four-cylinder engine produces 220 horsepower, sending its power to the front wheels via a six-speed manual or a six-speed automatic transmission. The 2.8-liter V6 engine sends its 300 horsepower output to all four wheels and only comes equipped with a six-speed automatic transmission featuring a manual shift mode. Fuel economy numbers with the V6 are in the mid-teens in the city and high 20s on the highway. The least expensive Saab 9.5 Turbo 4 trim has a starting price around $39,500. At its most expensive, the price for a 9.5 Aero trim exceeds $50,000. Prices for the Saab 9.5 tend to be less than similarly equipped versions of the Audi A6 and BMW 5 Series. That said, the now aging S80 sedan from fellow Swedish car maker Volvo offers as much power as the Saab 9.5, but at a much lower price. To find out what consumers are actually paying for the Saab 9.5 right now, we suggest you check the New Car Blue Book value page. Resale values for Saab haven't fared well in recent years, however, we expect the latest 9.5 to hold its value better than the model it replaces. And that's our comprehensive Kelly Blue Book review of the Saab 9.5.